do all of us for six stand up for the feet Fly ass chicks who paint them pretty ass lips. For them trap boys out doubling up on bricks. For positions like myself that was blessed with a grip. Grab the pack and see what it is. Swerve with the traffic like I lost control of the whip. Heard the competition like I ran over these bricks. Double lines mean nothing when you're hugging the bridge. Red light, green light, headlight, heat bright, bright. Superstar life make these lanes ain't right, right. Fabulous flow make the girls sing nice. So rock cups full to the party break light. The cross going to the I'm out on to the next like they said right there. Swag too slick, make a hater wanna bite. Now that it's in the boy, put your click to my life. So what I gotta prove? If a mind lowers like boy, nothing to lose. Stopping a humble on the mic, hit the beats, be bruised. The cat look calm like I never made a move. Right back on the beat, back with hammer in his seat. Uh -huh. These boys all brittle, tried up right. I never move triple cause I got two feet. Provided my own pills, boy, nobody fed me. The grind is impeccable, I've been chasing decimals. Now it's like me and the money is inseparable. inseparable. Catch the message that I'm sending to you. Yeah. Anything is possible if you put your mind. I've been through it, but I've been spewed it. Now I feel like a champ, bitch. I'm undisputed. Thought I conquered the whole game. The hustle never been lame. I'm pretty soon to talk story. I'm not going to Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing out there today? Welcome to Talk You Is Tuesday. Uh, we out here uh, today. We had just got the news that John Madden had passed away. So as you can see in the headlines, it says, rest in peace to John Madden. Um, you know, Madden is, is definitely a legend. And uh, as I, as he would always say, it's just he's just the greatest. That, that's what he is. He's just the greatest. But we also got to get into our show today. So as you know, I'm your host, Dennis Holmes. I'm here with, with my family. You know, not just the panel. People say they're here with their panel. I'm here with my family. You know what I mean? My co-host, Ron Thomas. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, we got the chocolate girl in the building, Sharon Mullen. What's going on, chocolate girl? What's up, y'all? All right. We got Zar in the building. What's going on, Zar? What up? What up? Glad to be back. Let's get it in. We got sports guru in the house. Oh, man. We're going to have quite a quite an interesting night tonight. I can feel it. All right. And we got uh, Ron. I mean, uh, we got Rashawn in the building. Tom Rashawn, God damn. Ron Rashawn. I, I ain't seen Tom Rashawn. That's like a long hey, time, hey, so hey, it's Rashawn. Hey, hey, Ron. He, he kills me every week. We got every week, every there. week, baby. I got something every to say. Every week. Yeah. He was about to uh, make the playoffs. Now he talk crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. get to our trash-ass players. Ron, what you got? I got Kevin Dwayne. How are you going to criticize an eighth grader? basketball player the, the boy in, in the eighth grade i mean playing basketball you got more things to be worried about like combing your hair put on some lotion then amen a, a eighth grader playing basketball 
We made a nice move. <clears throat> Yo, that's two things I ain't do today. So chill out, right there. Yeah. And I got the Lakers. For the past two games, you have not played no damn defense. Wait the fuck up. Play ball. Play play defense. Damn. You said damn. Oh, Ryan, you done? Yeah. Oh, I ain't know that. My, my bad, my bad. Uh, Sharon, you ready or no? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. I, I don't I don't really have a lot of trash-ass players. I have to agree with Ron about the Lakers. I, 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 just, I just don't even recognize this team. It's hard for me to even watch them play, so I try not to even watch them. And that's that's my favorite team in all the sports, really. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Send me right, the what video, you, then. What you, what you got, uh, sports guru? Well, um, as you know, I'm a, probably the biggest LeBron James fan on the planet, and I can't disagree. Uh, with my brother, Ron Thomas, Ron Thomas, anymore, because the Lakers have to be the biggest trash ass player of the week. Um, but it's specifically Russell Westbrook. I've heard people try to defend him. I watch every game. In fact, I've, I've missed one game of LeBron James's entire career. Okay, so you do the math. And this guy, I, I thought when he, they signed him, uh, we were on the show, well, I think we were in the, like one of the back rooms after the show. And I said that this guy, it, it can't be so. It can't be so. Because he, everywhere he's gone, he's, he's imploded. And, you know, I know in the second half of the season, he started to play better. But let me just chronicleize the last game, which really got, got underneath my skin. So the Lakers go down by 20 points on Christmas night, 20-something points, okay? So typically what happens is when, when Lakers play badly uh, or – Whenever they get off to whatever kind of start, they'll take him out, and then immediately they put him back in. Well, he was playing so trash as that game that Mr. Fisdale, the interim coach, decided not to put him back in. He skipped over him. And what did the Lakers do? They went on something like a 30 to, to a six run, okay? And we got the lead. So now we at the moment of truth. There's only five minutes left in the game. Do you keep him on the bench or do you play him? Okay? Fisdale decides that he is going to play him. Now, if Fisdale had any guts, and, I'm, and I was pissed off at him, he would have just kept him on the bench, okay? And he did not do that. He did not do that. So what does he come in? The first thing he does, he leaves Patty Mills, for all the people who know basketball, when somebody dribble penetrates, you, you, you can either step in the paint and stop ball, or you can stay on your man, okay? And he decided to leave the man in the corner and he buries a three, okay? That was the first thing. Now, he does that all the time. Oh, he, wow. he knows nothing about basketball. I teach girls the concept of help and recover or don't help. We've had girls who were outstanding shooters who you could not leave. Patty Mills happens to be one of them. Then he, he uh, the, the play where, you know, he missed the layup. Okay, LeBron missed the layup down the stretch, and so did uh, uh, THT, okay? But the problem is, LeBron missed one layup, Russell missed six in the game. He missed six layups, okay? So now, I, I argue with these fools on Facebook. Oh, you know, he made the right play when he tried to dunk it instead of kicking it to the three. No, if you're down three, and you got a wide open shooter in the corner, you're supposed to give up the ball. That's basketball, cuz. That's basketball. So he just does mindless things. And let me say this. Everyone knows that I'm LeBron James is like my son. But if he had anything to do with Russell Westbrook coming to the Lakers, that's on you, LeBron. That's on you. What were you thinking, cuz? Because I don't, I don't understand. I, I didn't understand it. I was arguing with people on this station, okay, when that happened. Now I heard, you know, all oh, LeBron does this. I don't know what's fact and what's fiction, you know, because they do have a general manager. His name is Rob, Rob Palenka. And Rob Palenka is one of Kobe's boys. 
And he's one of those guys who thinks he knows every damn thing anyway. So I, like I said, LeBron, you know, hey, look, the man played his ass off. He did everything he could do. But if you thought that you could somehow tame this wild horse or whatever the hell you want to call him, that's on you, player. That's on you. And uh, what did I say? There's one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, uh, Sean, last week you said that Russell Westbrook was a stat. Well, I don't know what you call it. What'd you call it? A stat? What, what'd you call it? A stat chaser. He's selfish. Stat chaser. Like Amen. Saying. Thank you. He's selfish. Okay. Shit don't win and basketball games. I, I, I told you you were wrong. And you know what? I got to trash myself because you was 100% right. Even uh, the Towns went on uh, Twitter or whatever he went on. No, actually, he went on a, a, some sort of show. And he said it, but then he kind of walked it back. He kind of said, he kind of said it. Then he's, oh, he's a great player, you know. But and then uh, Draymond Green attacked him and said, y'all can't be doing that to our brothers and stuff like that. Hey, man, look, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a goddamn duck. It ain't a mongoose. I'm done. Okay, cool. What you guys are? Uh, I'll start mine off with um, Mister. I won't. Mahomes money, Dak money, Josh Allen money, Baker Mayfield, the patty cake maker. You know, big game against Green Bay. You know, defense keeps them in the game. They come back. He's asked to go not even score a touchdown, just get in field goal range. The man can't even get in field goal range. He throws four interceptions. I mean, we've been talking about this kid, you know. I, I was talking about them in Cleveland the whole offseason again. Every time they're expected to do something, they, they shit the bed. He shits the bed. So I, I, I think not only is he not going to get the money, I don't think he'll be in Cleveland next year, you know, my opinion. Uh, so he's my top TAP for this week. Um, I'm also going to go with the Seattle Seahawks. You know, this is the, the first time Russell Wilson didn't make the playoffs. Uh, I think Carroll's is out after this year. They let the mighty Chicago Bears – go to Seattle and punk them with a two point conversion that Baltimore tried to do twice to win a game. And they showed them how to do it and were officially eliminated. So that's number two. And sorry, Miss Sharon, but I do got to go throw them Steelers in there. That was just not just losing. I mean, you know, they're playing Kansas city. Yeah. Kelsey didn't play, you know, they have some players out. Uh, we, we did tell you that, you know, the, you know, Pringle and those guys, Hardman, they got, they, they, they're pretty deep there. Those guys are good. They just don't get the same recognition, but just the performance, it, you know, Ben got benched. He's, he's definitely, I mean, we know he's done after this year anyway. He finally made that announcement a couple of weeks ago, but that was just, you know, for a playoff spot, you had the Ravens reeling, you know, you got Cincinnati taking over this division. That's crazy to me. So, you know, Pittsburgh, pathetic, pathetic performance. Uh, that's my, you know, my last trash ass player. Just, you know, it's December football. That's not Mike Tomlin. That's not the Steelers, in my opinion. All right, Sean. Um, yeah, number one on my list is definitely Baker Mayfield. Trash. I've been telling Dennis he wasn't it. Yeah, I've been telling Dennis that man was trash. Trash. Um, next, um, once again, Russell Westbrook. Selfish, man. That shit don't win basketball games. It's all about rest. If it don't if it don't benefit Russ, then it don't benefit nobody. And as you can see, the proof is in the pudding. He didn't play with Kevin Durant, James Harden. He didn't James Harden and came back to him. He didn't play with Melo. He didn't play with Paul George. He can't win with none of these people. He ain't got out the first round with none of these people. Russell Westbrook is done. He's trash. This is, this is my opinion. Let me say what y'all want. But Russell Westbrook will be my trash ass player. For the rest of the time, he's been in the league. He's going to the Hall of Fame strictly based on that. I mean it. <laughs> he, he's trash to me, man. Like, I'm starting to hate Russell Westbrook like Sharon hates Chris Paul. Like, trash. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all was in some good points over there, boy. Um, I'm going to say a trash-ass player of mine is Matthew Stafford. You know, even though you got the win, we have a rule here on TAP. Three turnovers, you are a trash head. Three turnovers in football. Let me get that out of the way. Because I know some of y'all will be like, well, well, Westbrook should be there every week. Three <laughs> turnovers in football. Let me get that out of the way. Let me get that out of the way. Three turnovers in football. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, 
some teams I felt as though shouldn't even play this week. The Saints, the Steelers, the White, the, the fucking Browns, the Chargers, the Giants, the, Giants, the Washington, Washington football, football team. team. I, I just felt <laughs> as though they shouldn't even fucking play this week. It's just that's just to be real. Um that is about all I have to say on trash ass players. Now, Ron, who you have for certified players? Hey, can I get a sort of can I get trash ass players? Oh, my fault, Ethan. I forgot you was here. My fault, Ethan. Go ahead. <laughs> well, how's it going? How's it going, people? Um, yeah. um first off, um, Mac Jones. Second week <laughs> in a row, they figured out that we figured out that if the if the Patriots get down by two scores, they can't come back. Um and uh definitely uh Baker Mayfield that was just ugly. Um and the third one is a little bit personal, but it's the somebody on this panel who said that we would lose this week at that the era of bu- Buffalo being the Buffalo Patriot bitches is o- is starting again. Sean, you're my trash ass player. That didn't happen. We dominated them boys. You <laughs> didn't dominate them. <laughs> Good yes, you we happy? did. You won by one no, score, you... right? Yeah, that's we it. won by twelve <laughs> points. Yeah, they won by twelve. Thirty-three. They 29. still beat you. They still beat you first, bro. I know, but you told me they with, were with three lose. pass oh, attempts. That's all well and good, but that's that's in the past. And so is it? We're both in the past. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did y'all win y'all division yet? We're we're on top of the division right now. We still got two only, games left. I only tell but... the division winners right now, man. Talk to me when you win the division. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Just admit it. You were wrong. You said they were going to sweep us. I said, <laughs> I said division winner. Oh, okay. Okay. I got Joe Burrows. He threw for 525 yards. And he had four TDs this past weekend. Yeah. And um, Atlanta Falcons beat the Lions. <laughs> so wow. No, they, they beat Miami. No, they beat Detroit. Oh, they, they, they beat Miami Detroit. Beat the Saints. I thought they just beat Miami. Miami, uh, Miami oh, was seven was, in a row. Oh, Miami beat the was, Saints. Um, yeah, that was Saints. Yeah. Okay. You so. get you get certified for beating the Lions, huh? Okay. <laughs> they, well, they, they did. They, well, they, they did what Arizona I, couldn't do. I'm just saying. I, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess so. I, I, in, Ron, in Ron's defense, I guess the reason why he's saying that is because several people picked Detroit to beat beat them. I'm one of them. Be honest, hey, I mean, I mean, wait a minute. I got always miss Atlanta and Georgia on the certified. Wait a I gotta else. say this. The other dude that said the Lions were going to kick our ass. Sports guru, show your face. <laughs> show your damn face. He done left. He, done <laughs> he, he made him leave. He didn't close everything. Probably. He probably. You got any more certified, Ryan? No, he's there. No. He just took the camera off. Oh, uh, Alabama. Uh, Next Sharon, Saturday, go ahead, certified. Um, I, I had Joe Burrows as my as one. Joe Burrow as one, and um. There was somebody else. I don't remember who the other person was. I think it was just Joe. Oh, Cooper Cup. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Guru, what you got? First of all, Ron Thomas, I never said y'all was going to lose that game. So don't be pissed. No, I, I didn't got say you y'all was going to lose that game. I, I, got, said, I said do not go. make it a playoffs, and you're not no. making the playoffs. I got okay. you on tape, motherfucker. Don't be trying to. He got the receipts, <laughs> baby. He got the receipts. Yeah, you got to go try to go nowhere. I got, I got, you better, put some, you better I got put some respect receipts. on my name. He got the receipts, baby. I got you better receipts. put some respect oh, on your my ass. name. Let Don't me, try to lie me. your ass out of this one. No, no, you, you, you lying, but okay, okay. you show me the, you show me the tape. Okay, let okay, me, let me get my, let me get my, uh, my, uh, little two minutes, two minutes of fame. 
Okay, now uh, you, you don't confuse me here. Um, no, I'm I giving you. I'm, you confuse yourself. No, because you put you, you passed for me. You so you you telling lies and, and all sorts of stuff. You I got. Know, I got. You're gonna. See. You're you're not I a good person, see. Ron. Remember Ronnie, that, you're not hey, a good person. I will. I, you're I'll not say, a good I'll, person. I'll, I'll, I don't know if Guru did, but I know I'll, I'll admit it. I I picked the I picked the Detroit to beat you. Nah, they should have beat him anyway. All right, move on, moving right along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving, moving right along. Moving right along. I'm giving uh, the uh, what is this called? This segment called again? Hey, hey Guru, oh you asked oh, me that one week. Oh, no, 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 no. You asked me that. You asked me that one more week, Guru. Every fucking week. Every motherfucking week. We got to go through this. Who came in here every week? Who, 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 created, hey, who, who created that name? It's so Don't lame. Worry, you, you just be glad you on the show. That's yeah. it. Yeah, okay. I'll be I'll be glad, all right. I'll be glad, all right. All right, so oh. I'm going to give my certified players to the entire Dallas Cowgirls, man. They kick some ASS. I got to give them boys some credit, man. You know, all this Dak bashing and all this talking about. Now, I looked at the stats. He's, he's not the number eight, number one rated court, quarterback. But, man, to, to act like, you know, he's not one of the better quarterbacks top ten is is ridiculous, man. Cowgirls, y'all did your thing. Cowgirl Nation, y'all did your thing. And to me, you guys got to be, what is this, certified player shit? Okay, certified player. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and, uh, what else? Do I have anybody else? Oh, I got to say one thing about this Joe Burrow thing. Because, you know, hey, he had a great game and all that. But let me say this. Yo, if if you go on for stats, like like as, they, as uh, Sean has told us about Russell Westbrook, you ain't shit either, cuz. Because you you didn't break no record, you didn't go for you didn't go for the most yardage ever. So just because you you was trying to rub it into the uh the defensive uh coordinators uh you know I guess because he said you're not in in, in Canton or you don't they don't have a jacket for you, my man you don't have no jacket for you. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Haskins beat your ass out at Ohio State. So so you better put some respect on people's name before you decide to act like you all that. You ain't shit in my book. Do something. Make the damn playoff, Bengals. Make what? the playoff. All can right. I, can I can I say something, Guru? Yeah, go right ahead. The, the, the reason that he wouldn't put all those yards up on the I, Baltimore I, Ravens. I say it's the reason. The, the defensive coordinator said, quote unquote, that he they don't have a a, a jacket for him in in, in uh, Canton. That that wasn't that was well, just like paid, a piece. No, of that it. was the reason. No, 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 no. That was just a piece of it. You got to remember, he gonna play them for at least the next five years. Twice and so year. you want to you want to trash somebody? You want to play for the next yes. five years? Yes. Why? Yes. The, yes. They they in your division. You want to let them know who let the fuck who the uh, fuck the best quarterback is in the something. division? Payback is a bitch. The play, payback is that. a bitch, but you got to beat me though. Goes but but you got to beat me though. You ain't That's that damn good. Then what what did that kid from uh Washington do to his leg last year? We ain't worried about that. We not worried about that. Okay. Don't worry about. And he came. Let me tell you something. That can happen on any play. They can't, but it did. Over. You know what happened? He came in there and he whooped their ass. And okay. they can say what they want yeah. to. Okay. They, but you yeah. know what? It's either you All see right. me in the playoffs or you see me next season. Okay, let me ask do you a question, stuff. Skippy. Let me ask I you a did. question. You do Skippy. something. Since you since you on my time, let me ask you a question. Did they did the Baltimore or Ravens have the entire back um um defensive no. backfield out there no. when they when they out there with, with COVID uh replacement players? I said yeah. no, they did not. They had no starters. Okay, exactly. So that ain't shit, man. I don't care what you say. You wait a minute. Player, I, I you like, I like yourself, that you hold on, hold on. You call yourself a hold on, hold player. on. You, you and Ron Tomlin, you about to put your foot in your mouth because I told you they play each other twice a year. What happened the first game when all of them was there? Okay, all he right. Four hundred yards. Remember, he threw for four hundred yards. Okay, and, and and a couple TDs. I don't know exactly how many, but I know he threw four hundred okay. yards. Now you better so think with or without your best players. I'm going to bust okay. your ass. That's okay, what let me say. Okay, you finished? Now, you thank my great-grandmother. She passed away. More than right, because she's the one that said, Skippy jumping off that peanut butter jar, and you got your <laughs> name that way. Okay? That's number one for you, big boy. And number two, let a damn sleeping dog lie. Let him no. lie. No, they in my division. You got to kill them. Okay. All right. You kill All right. Em. All right. All right. How many times How many times have I'm you done. sat around? No, no, I'm no. You've been, you've been watching football for a long time. How many times have you sat around and you said, damn. The Bengals beat the shit out of them. How many times that came out of your mouth? They, in fact, the Bengals were good when they had Marvin Lewis. 
They were good. You say that because he's a black coach. He had some good times. Hold up. The only thing, the only thing they couldn't do is win that playoff game. And let me say this: the Steelers stole that playoff game for them with a stupid passing um late um what uh what's the name Joey Porter and um coming on the field and all the other crap that was going on in that game and they basically uh the referee stole that from them that was a joke uh, they should have won that game John F you something oh shit oh shit you oh go we ahead, go ahead Ron Thomas go ahead have, Ron have Thomas. we talked about this past week not 30 years ago oh that was 30 years ago the way you tell you back how about how about this Friday when you're uh, when you're when you're what do you call it the Georgia Bulldogs get their ass kicked? Can I talk about that? <laughs> you gonna be around to talk you know about what? that? Oh you know shit! What? Blaze is back. Time yeah, out! Time that. out! Time out! Time out! Blaze is back. Came from out of fucking rug or something. I don't know where he came from. Ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why I'm saying this. I ain't seen Blaze since early October. I'm sorry, but Blaze is back. God damn, man! Great to see him. Um. Zara, you was next. I'm sorry, Zara. Yeah. Well, they took God, some. They took, they took some. So I'll just say what did what wasn't mentioned. Uh, shout out to the Houston Texans for taking it to the Chargers and not giving up. No, no one gave them a chance in that game. And not only did they win the game, they dominated the game and put up 41. And Rex Burkhead was an a, an absolute beast with 100 and I think 65 yards rushing and two TDs. Um, so you got to get them props. Uh, I mentioned Seattle on the trash ass players. So I'm going to give the Bears shout out on the certified for, again, going in there, punching them in the mouth, playing in that snow, which I, I've never seen it snow in Seattle. That shit shocked the hell out of me. But that's <laughs> Chicago weather. And they went in there and went for two. And, and you know, that was a hell of a catch. Uh, whoever caught that ball on, on a two-point conversion. And, you know, Nagy's still going to get fired. But, you know, your boy, what's his name? Lil' Kim, our uncle. Whoever you call him got drafted. Uh, he came in there and he won that game. I think he's going to start again next week. Uh, exactly. Philly, uh, Foles, yeah. Um, and then I want to give a shout out to, to, to Waddle, uh, you know, rookie receiver from Miami. Uh, he's second. He has the most, I think, second most rookie receptions at 94, I believe. And I believe he will get the record with two more games left for rookie record. I don't know if he's going to beat out Chase for – Rookie of the year because Chase has a thousand yards and 10 TDs. He only has 941 yards and five TDs, although he does have more receptions. But Chase is just a big, bigger play, a bigger, you know, big play receiver. And then, um, you know, shout out, you know, I'm, I'm going to be like Ron. You know, I got the one of my squads in there. Shout out to my Bulls. You know, we recovered from COVID, although we still got Donovan and our ball just went in. But at one time, we had to forfeit games because we had the most players in COVID up to 10 had to bring in like three or four players from the G league. And uh, we still second in the East, a game behind Brooklyn and uh, uh, DeMar and Levine continue to be the leaders of scoring in the fourth quarter and the highest scoring duo in the league. So let's keep that going and uh shout out, you know, I'm, I'm a happy fan right now. My teams are playing well around the globe, man. It's, it's a good feeling. So let's keep it going. Okay. All right. What you got, Sean? I'm gonna get this out of the way early, right, right, right away. My first certified player is Dennis Holmes because he always he always picks that Dakota Prescott. And Dakota Prescott must have heard me talking shit last week because he went out there and threw a touchdown to everybody but my damn mom. <laughs> so definitely, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's, better, it's a little better sweet because he whooped my ass in fantasy, but you know, I'm a Cowboys fan, so. Um, second certified player. You don't know if damn certified players. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Come on, you know. Second certified player is that Cowboys defense. Yes, I'm going to real biased today. The Cowboys defense is doing real good things, man. First and turnovers. Yeah, you man. Know I mean? QB pressures is, is out of control. We're just looking real good right now, man. I'm very proud of my team. Um, who else certified? Joe Burrows, of course. I said Prescott. Uh, I believe that's all I have for now. Somebody okay. else, somebody else turned it up, but I forgot. Oh, Jonathan Taylor, Jonathan Taylor, Jonathan Taylor keeps getting the maximum efficiency on the field with I feel like the least amount of carries than any other running back gets. He's still like the most efficient back in the game right now. So shout out to Jonathan Taylor. 
they winning games specifically off this man back. Like he's Derrick Henry. Okay, uh, uh, Ethan, where you at, Ethan? Right here. Um. All right, I've got Josh Allen, absolutely balled out. And then one of our wide receivers who had to come off come off the bench, who doesn't usually play because we've got so many. Um, Isaiah McKenzie had a, ten catches, 125 yards, and a touchdown. Came to play, or 11 catches. I don't even know, but he had a, quite a day. And even though it pains me to say it, one of our division rivals, you got to give. You got to give us some some love to uh, the Dolphins. The first team after losing seven straight. Now they've won seven straight. They're on they're on a tear right now. And they're actually in the seventh seed right now. So right as of this moment, three teams from the AFC East are in the playoffs. Um, which makes that game in Week 18 against from the page between the Patriots and the Dolphins going to be going to be a hell of a game <clears throat> um let's see the the i know that the ravens were banged up but still the the uh the Bengals defense held them to held them down enough so that they could put the beat down on them so well, the third string quarterback about, uh, hey Hey, next man up. Nah. Believe me, I know how that goes. Tell the New Orleans Saints that. No kidding. That was that, that, that was ugly. Eight sacks. Ian Book is trash. What, I saw one in college. No, He's oh. terrible. Ah, I can't I can't judge him off of that one game. Uh, I'm telling you. He, he, they have no I mean, I, he was I, he wasn't I, good I, in college. I, I believe I believe you, but I'm saying I'm not going to judge his pro career on one game where he had no time. Every time he, by the time he play action. So now the Saints action, don't have a line? Hold on, hold on. We're trying didn't. to get through this. We ain't got that much time to be arguing that. Y'all can find that out later on in the show. All right. So I was saying, look, they didn't, they, they, if they had a line, they didn't show up yesterday. So anyway, those are my it's hard, it's hard to players. It's that. All right. Um, I guess I got to start this thing off right, right? That's the only way you do it. Go Skippy. With the blood clot. Want to rumble with the beat, huh? Go Skippy. Uh, go ahead to your whole family. God damn it. Nick Foles with the motherfucking Seattle and got that fucking win. Take me off the bench, coach. I'm going to get that win. That's right. Lil' Kim, baby. Come off the bench, get that goddamn win. And I've been, and you know what? I ain't going to rub it in on Shine. But my man, Dakota goddamn Prescott, goddamn it. If I tell you Dakota Prescott is, is a great quarterback, then goddamn it, you should be out there putting money on. That's what you should be doing. <laughs> and uh, I got to get some love in basketball. This dude, Desmond Bain from Memphis, is different. Okay? <laughs> this dude is different. I, Yo, give me my credit. Give me my credit. I, do, I don't remember you talking about no Desmond Bain. Dennis. Desmond Bain, last pick of the draft. That's he was. I told you. He was the 30th pick in the draft, yeah. Exactly. Pick, right. pick, by, the, pick by the Celtics. But I, Desmond this Bain, dude I is you. different. I, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out. What was everybody else thinking? But this dude is balling. He is different. He didn't. He didn't look like that before, Dennis. He's he he's, on, he's come. He's come a long way, and now he and Job, they're they're in the running for, for the best backcourt out there now. Right now, that's crazy. They're looking really good. Yeah, I. I he helped them hold it down while Job was out. He Stay helped. Out, he helped hold it down. You know, we, we both like Kobe, so I, that's how I judge players of a work ethic. Not what they first look like. I want to see, is they working? Is they trying to get better? Desmond Bain that's has right. always been one of them players. I like him. Mm-hmm. He likes it. He's out there. You can tell he's out there really trying to hone his craft, trying to get better. Yeah. It's that mama mentality. And he can he can he shoot. look like he's making he my can, bull now Brooks. Now he got a shot. He has a right. consistent He look like he's making my bull Brooks expendable. I don't know, man. 
Now nah, he's just starting small forward now. He just it just got me nervous. He's uh, too good of a three point no, shooter to get rid of no. him. I don't. I hope they don't. Be. But I I, I he's just too got good of a three point shooter. That's what the league is about. He ain't going nowhere. I, I understand that, but I can see you it don't. Happen. You don't have to worry about Brooks Dennis. Yeah, he's not no. expendable. Mm-mm. I got to give some love out there to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I did not expect y'all to be balling like this without Sexton. Let me get that out the way. I did not expect y'all to be balling like this. Let me just say. Yeah, I think Sexton's expendable, but I'm going to leave that where uh, They're talking about trading Sexton. That's expendable. That's what that meant. That's, I don't know if you didn't know that. No, I thought he said he wasn't expendable. Oh. Um, let me. Oh, yeah. Let me give some more love out there. Tanny Tanny! Boy, Tanny Hill. Way to come back and get that win on Thursday, Tanny. Tanny time. My boy, Tanny. Uh, that's a guy I've been clowning. It was another guy I got to get some love to. Like you say, your, your boy, huh? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, uh, another yeah. guy I've been clowning. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I got to give him some love. Um, uh, Patrick Mahomes. You went out there and did your thing with uh, without your receivers out there. Still got the win. Uh, shout out to you, Patrick Mahomes. And uh, last but not least, my guy, Jalen Waddle. You might be the wide rec- the best wide receiver to come out of that Alabama core. That Alabama core with the four wide receivers that was there that year. Let me get that out the way before y'all start saying, so we better than Julio, the Alabama core of the four wide receivers that was there that year. It's Henry Ruggs, uh, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Jerry Judy. Oh, he no, might I agree be the with best you. one. He is. You might be the best one out of that four. Now, I named the four. I don't come in my inbox saying nothing crazy. I named the four, all right? All right. I agree. Now, let's yeah, get the best this. quarterback out of the four. No, nah, negative. Uh, let's get to this what? coach. Negative. You don't have the best I don't think none of them got a quarterback. Whoa, 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 whoa. Derek is the best quarterback of that core. What the fuck? What the fuck Joe Burrow is still with No, that's not Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. My fan, my fan. I'm thinking, about it I'm thinking about Chase. I'm thinking about Chase. Don't see this head I got on? Fuck wrong with you? Nah, he ain't better than Derek Carr. Not he throwing the ball. Than Derek Carr. Not throwing the ball. First of all, however you got to win the Super Bowl, if I if he ran no, the ball, we're talking about the Super receivers Bowl. and like the, the situation. Yeah, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Henry Ruggs ain't even fucking playing. What the fuck you mean, Derek? Nah, Carr? Ruggs is trash. I'm just talking about Devontae and uh, Devontae and Waddle. The other two are garbage. Judy is garbage. I don't think Judy well, garbage. I think well, he need to Judy, I think he need garbage. Food, Judy is garbage. Judy the, is hey man, garbage. every receiver don't pan out, bro. He's gonna be one of them. Yo, he runs. He runs the best routes out of everybody. Yeah, he, he can run the best team. routes. That don't mean that he. I'm just. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's get to these coaches of the year. Y'all ready for that? Top five. We're doing top five coaches of the year in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. Top five. These are again. These are people on the panel. These are their top five coaches of the year. These are people that they feel as though is gonna be the coach of the year. Uh, candidates this year. They're just five coaches. You ready, Ryan? I did y'all three. Uh, anyway. I ain't, I ain't even going to say what you said to me. I'm just going to leave that alone. Anyway. Okay. Matt LaFleur. Okay. And Arthur Smith. Who the fuck? Never mind. I, I ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, I'm going to leave, leave, leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Because I'll be saying some crazy stuff. Let me move That's who I got. Oh, okay. Right. Shane, you ready? I can't believe you did that, man. Right. You said Arthur's. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I'll here. teach y'all later. Here's my list. Don't teach us a damn thing. <laughs> crazy. I'll teach y'all I, later. I, um, I only have three, too, because I can't really go beyond three. I don't, there's no more than three that actually deserve the award, in my opinion. So, and the third one is is a weak one, too. He has an outside chance of winning, and that's uh, Frank Wright, right? But that's only if they win their last two games. If he doesn't win those last two games, I don't think he has a shot at all. But if he wins, if they win their last two games, he has a shot. It's just an outside shot. And then um, I hate to say this too, but Matt Lafleur, the flu, <laughs> Green Bay. 
Um, I mean, I mean, the man has has <coughs> coached his team to the best record in the NFL. Top ten in the yards allowed per play. You know, Aaron Rodgers is balling, and how he coached a game to beat the red heart hot Cardinals when Rodgers and and the wide receiver wasn't even playing. So I, I mean, you can't forget stuff like that. And when you put it all together, he just has had his team ready to play, even when people were when players were out. So I'm gonna say Matt Lafleur, Fleur. And then, um, <laughs> boy, this is just an upsetting day on Tuesday for me. Um, Bill Belichick, you cannot not have him in the conversation. Um, his team is not the best team, but he finds a way to win. And um, with a rookie quarterback who sometimes can't read defense as well. So if you're able to do that and have them get the record that they have, and have a chance to make the playoffs. They weren't even supposed to make the playoffs at all. Um, these last two games, they have not looked very good, but I think they're going to finish strong in their division, you know, in their last two games. And so Bill was in the conversation. I can't get, I, I just can't add Andy Reid or, or the Tampa Bay coach on my list yet. I, 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 but those are the next two that I'm considering. Andy Reid and um, what's Tampa Bay's coach now? Name escapes me. What's his name? Oh, uh, damn, well, I forgot his name. Bruce, Bruce Area? Him. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce Area. So, oh, uh, so who was, I'm sorry. Yeah, your first one was. Um, I said Frank, Frank Reich. Reich, Matt LaFleur, and Bill Belichick. Oh, okay. So if I have to have five, I would go ahead and add Andy Reid and. Um, Bruce Arians. Okay. But I'm still not happy with this list. Uh, Zara, what you got? I don't know, it's Guru, my fault. Guru, what you got? Oh, God, I'm watching this Russell Westbrook, man. He's killing us again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Close your uh, eyes, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe I should. Uh, another layup miss. Okay, uh, I got, um, I, I was interested because uh, this chocolate had said um, Bill Belichick, and I didn't even have him on my list. But when you think about it, you have to give him, you got to put some respect on his name, um, in spite of the fact hey, that I'm hey, not. Hey, Guru, Guru, I got to tell you this one time for not having Bill Belichick on your list. Sit your white ass down. That's all I'm going to say, all right? Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay, I'll give you my list then. I, I guess I'll just do that. Um, I, I have a guy that probably not people are going to have, but I, I think he's number one. Um, and that's uh, my man, Brian Flores. I mean, you know, to, to, to lose all those games, so what was it, seven in a row? That wins, now they 500, I think, what, he won seven or eight in a row? No, seven, because they won the first game against the Patriots. Unbelievable job this man has done. They was firing him. He was getting fired. They was, they was getting ready to replace him when, when, when they was on that losing streak. They, 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 they had him out of town. Uh, not so fast. <laughs> Brother, man, do your thing. Okay. I, I, also, I got on there. Uh, I got Matt LaFleur, although I thought they lost that game when um, Jordan Love played. I didn't, I, I thought they, they, he lost, he didn't, you know, he was, he, he worked a lot of magic, but he didn't work magic that day. Um, no, he won. Oh, no, he, he lost. Did. They he lost to Kansas City. Yeah. Oh, lost. I, he I think she meant, I think she meant when Devontae didn't play against Arizona on prime right. time. Well, well, I'm talking about when, the, um, when Jordan no, Love. No, when Rodgers didn't play, they didn't win that game. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, um. Also, so, but I, I still have to give him a lot of credit. Um, I don't know that he's coach. He's not my coach of the year, but he, he definitely deserves credit. He's done a good job, um, especially dealing with uh, that, that idiot quarterback that he got. Um, although the, the, the denial and the, the, the allowing him to do whatever you want, they showed themselves to be really soft in that way. Um, so I, I don't respect that, but, but that's beside the point. As far guru, as, um, guru, yeah. guru. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, but you're right, you guys. I did misspeak, misspeak. I didn't mean Aaron Rodgers in the wide receiver. I meant without the running back and the wide receiver. Aaron Rodgers played, but yeah. he didn't have his number one options, and they beat Arizona still. Yeah. Uh, that I'm is sorry. correct. I just I just want to correct that my mistake because I I did say that wrong. Go ahead, y'all. Yeah. Well. Yep. Yeah, no problem. And then uh, I also. 
um, what I said, uh, Frank Wright done a great job. Um, this guy Tomlin, um, I, I think the Steelers are still trash, but he he, he makes uh, cupcakes, uh, velvet red red velvet cupcakes out of trash. I mean, you know, I, I got to give Mike Tomlin a lot of credit, especially since he don't have that control that a Bill Belichick, that a, a Pete Carroll, you know, the Steelers don't give him that autonomy that he should get considering his reputation. But then again, they probably did the same thing to Noel and, and the other guy that was there who does the uh, commentary. I can't think of his name right now. Um, Bill Cower. Yeah, Cower. And and so, um, and Mike Vrabel, yeah, he's done a, a very good job. And then I got to put respect on Andy Reid's name, man, because they had, you know, Mahomes, you know, he was, he was a bum. He was going out to pasture. He's done a great job too. So I had a tie at that that last one. I gave I like, you six. I like your Andy Reid when I had to give you a clap because you gave him so much slack this year. I didn't know if you was gonna reward him for him turning it around. Unlike you, Skippy, only truth come out of this mouth. <laughs> I mean, let me wash my hands from that lying ass shit you just said. Go ahead, Sharon. <laughs> I'm not going to give Brian Flores uh, any nod for this because even though they're the first team to go seven losses and then seven wins, uh, the people people are not looking at who they played these last seven games. On the schedule. Like they do. Hold on. Like they always do when you're talking about the Steelers or anybody else, look at who they played. They only played yeah. one winning team, and that was Baltimore. But you can look, you can look at you can look at Dallas and they play in that trash division. Hold it, hold it. I'm not saying this to argue. I don't want to argue with you about it. I'm just giving my opinion. Yeah, but you're commenting on something I said. So when you comment on something someone says, they're allowed to rebut you. That's all. Well, you go ahead. No, I I already said what I had to say. You Um, got anything else you want to rebut? Well, no, I, I like I said, the cowgirls. They, 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 they play in a division where, you know, look, I mean, two of the teams is pathetic. So, but the bottom line is I'm not taking away from Dak. They beat the Redskins ass. They beat their ass. They're beat a lot of teams ass. Huh? Right. I, I'm not, I'm not even going to do what I'm talking right. about, but that's and, fine. And, 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 and when you look at basketball and, and especially football today, look at all these replacement players and stuff like that. What are you going to do? Count every time that somebody's playing with, with five replacements? Just like I said with Barrow. Barrow needs to shut up. You're playing against literally girls out there. I don't, and you, I, don't you I, also, I also don't believe that Brian Flores should be on there either. He's not on my list. Yeah. Uh, you lost seven straight. All right. All you're doing is regaining confidence. That's yeah. all you're doing. Can't give you, can't get you, you credit for. Yeah, we can't. Exactly. Well, okay, let me ask you this question, Skippy. He got <laughs> wait, a wait a minute. Wait let me, a minute. Let me ask Can you this I question, finish Skippy? saying what I was saying? Oh, no, let, let the time girl finish. Let the girl finish. Okay. So this is what I was saying. I am not saying to you, Guru, or y'all, that I think that that's a good reason not to have him on the list. I'm simply pointing out, out the fact that you don't hear anyone talking so much hollering and screaming about who they play. All they're talking about is the fact that they've won seven straight. That wasn't done when supposedly the Steelers beat nobody the first half of the season and won 11 straight. Everybody wanted to take it away from the Steelers for the same exact reason, but for the Dolphins, they're not saying anything about it. And I just find that to be very interesting. So I'm pointing that out. So it's not really anything to argue. I'm just pointing out the fact of what has happened here. That's all I'm saying. Now you and Dennis can argue about should Flores be on the list if you want. Yeah. I just wanted to get that out. I was here for the Flores smoke. That's what I was here for. Um, wait a minute, who was next? Sorry, was you next? I can go. I can go. I mean, this is all over the place because three of my five, no one brought up. Hey, it's, it's our list. Oh, shit. We, we might got the same three. So you're going to like the first name, Nick Sirianni. Right. Nick Sirianni at number five. Everywhere I looked, Philly was slated to come in last and win three, four games, except for me and Dennis. I told Dennis that they, they, they wanted 
they went in spite of him, though. No, nah, but I told them they was coming second in the division and had a chance to make the wild card. They're doing exactly what I thought because I'm also high on Jalen Hurts. And no one, no one, no expert writer had them higher than fourth. They had Washington. Washington won a division on some bull. You know, everybody was hurt. They still won a division with seven wins. Yes, yeah, sure. I had them. I had them first or second too. I'm not oh, an expert. Actually, writer, you were. You, you were. I'm not you know, an expert. I was talking about experts. No, no, no. I was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm not one but, of them. But I, but I just didn't see them. With, I didn't see them anymore. Four wins nowhere on any channel, any little thing I wrote, I saw. So they were fully rebuilding straight up. So anyway, Seriani yeah. at five. I got LaFleur at four because I'm high on Aaron Rodgers. Y'all know that I'm high on Green Bay. They're the best team to me going in. So it's really hard to give a coach coach of the year when you're when you when your expectations are high in my eyes anyway so but I did have him at fourth he just he's just not going to win it because I expected them to do this you know you know in, in all honesty number three and you can call it homerism or not but I got McCarthy we're right on the ass and everyone said McCarthy was going to be our downfall we weren't going to win in December and you know that was the reason we got all the talent but we don't got a coach well, the coach gets the credit when they win. They get the they get the blame when they lose. So we're eleven and four with a with a two seed, and he's number three on my list. I didn't give him coach of the year, but I do got him at number three for being the second best team. And then, well, I don't know the record the, the Kansas City you know, overall, but in the NFC they're right there next to Green Bay. So, and winning in December. So McCarthy, number two, I got Belichick as well at number two. Uh, Sharon pretty much, I mean, we all know what Belichick can do. You know, they bounce back this season. They are in a little little struggle right now, you know, when it counts. And that's because we all know what Mac Jones is. And that will be the downfall and why they won't go anywhere if they do make the postseason as great as their defense is and as good as their running game. Mac Jones is going to have to win some games in December and January, and that's not going to happen. And my number one coach of the year right now, Blaze, welcome back. Zach Taylor, Cincinnati Bengals, the doormats, Thank Thank AFC you. North, one of the hardest divisions in football, the most one of the most rugged divisions. How is he not on nobody's list? He's on my that's list, but I ain't get to go yet. That's he crazy. On my list. Yeah. Zach well, Taylor, yeah, coach I, of the year. I, 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 right. on my list. I have him. Look, I have him. May, sitting, may I, I have him sitting around yes. six. So oh, okay. Six. Look, let me ask you a question, Zach. Um, you know, I listen to everything, and just like you do, uh, all I ever hear from Cal. You know, cowboy, you know, people who are for them and against them is how McCarthy is your Achilles heel. Today I was listening to a show on ESPN and they had him as the number one reason why your team won't win the Super Bowl because of right. allegedly his clock management um, and um, his clock management. And so there was another category I'm trying to think that he's been very poor in. Do you think that he's been poor in those particular categories? If you know that one that I'm, 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 I'm missing? Clock management early on. Uh, it was a couple of early games. We ended up winning both those games against Sandy. The, I was still call them San Diego, LA Chargers. <laughs> when and and I think it was uh, Philadelphia before the half because I remember Dennis was like, "Man, the if, they would've, if they would have went up, like, you know, we came, oh, no, 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 not not just not just that time. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about the no, but I'm saying game. those are the two games very early in the season, very early, where I was like, "Dude, call timeout, call timeout." But since then, I haven't had any issues, and I love the aggressiveness on him going for it on fourth down, and we've been fairly successful right. as right. well. Right, that's that, that that's another thing. That was the thank you for answering that, Zar. Mm -hmm. They said that he doesn't know when to go for it on fourth down or when to kick a field goal. That was their other gripe for him. So let me ask you this question: Since you are a a the, well, you and Sean, two big cow, I call you cow girl fans. Don't it's get a, uh, mad at it because that's, no, 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 that's just my little joke. And but I have respect for you guys. Um, okay, do you think going forward that he is your Achilles heel? I never thought he was my Achilles heel. I was happy we hired him because Jerry Jones always hires puppets like Jason Garrett, like Wade Phillips, and dudes that you know are his friends. And I think Mike McCarthy, he's a Super Bowl winner, first the first Super Bowl winner we've had since Bill Parcells. So I respect McCarthy. I because from okay. yeah, I remember from what we've had. We had Jason uh -huh. Garrett for almost 10 years. He shouldn't have been there half of that time. So I was excited that we just, we upgraded in a major way. That, I mean, he's the best coach, but I'm like, hey, we're going in the right direction. This guy's got experience. He's won a Super Bowl. I don't think he's going to be our Achilles heel. 
Okay. All right. Well, uh, time will tell. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, no, anytime. Hey, Sean, you ready? So do. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. Uh, at five, Sarani. Um, I wasn't too high on the Eagles. I was just jokingly saying they were going to get 10 wins and they still fucking around and do it. But you got to give um, that first year coach coming in to pretty much a fucking shit storm of an organization of moves and, and getting ready to start the quarterback and, you know what I mean, got to believe in a quarterback. There's a whole lot that he wound up overcoming. And I feel like you got to give Sarani credit for that. Uh, four, <clears throat> I got LaFleur. I don't care. I don't care if a team is good or not. You still got to coach them. They still got to go out there and play football. He does a good job, especially with all the turmoil that Aaron Rodgers. My apologies. But, um, with all the turmoil that Rodgers brings in the offseason and that, and that kind of thing, you, you mean the fact that they still go out there and still are a perennial, you know, contender every year. You got to give him credit for that. Uh, three, McCarthy. Uh, I, I, no need to. It's, once again, I don't care how good a team is, you still got to coach him. And he's doing things with the Cowboys that normally other coaches can't get done, especially one in December. That's a big one. Um, two, Andy Reid. And number one, I'm, I'm going with uh, Bill Belichick. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, Ethan. All right. Um, <clears throat> five. Um, I'll go right along with what Sean said for five. I'll go with Sirianni. Um, four, I'll go with Brian Flores. Thank you. Thank um, you. <clears throat> Thank you. Jeez. Let me see. Three. Let me give it to uh, Zach Taylor. Um, number two. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say Matt Lafleur. And number one is Bill Belichick. All right, I got um, I have Andy Reid and Bill Belichick. I got Mike Vrabel, Matt LaFleur, Zach Taylor, and I also have Frank Wright. I actually have more than five. I also have Frank <laughs> And I got Nick Sirianni at last. Yeah, you give it as a top ten? I mean, I was I was going through them. There was a couple of guys that I just couldn't, you know, couldn't shake and couldn't unshake. Um, but let's go with these uh, Defensive Player of the Year nominees. Nominees. I, I'm not even gonna say it's a top or anything. Everybody ain't got five, so we just gonna say not. Brian, you going? I don't know why you got your hand up. Start talking. Trayvon Diggs. That's all I need to say. Tell him, Ryan. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Sharon. You don't have nobody else. That, no. He said that's all he needs. <laughs> the man got seven interceptions. Yeah. Okay, but there's well, more to need to be said. Yeah. You don't you don't just what else there needs to be is there to be said is that's not the only stats you look at for a defensive player of the year. I'm Shaq Ron said a cowboy player. I mean, am I wrong about that? I mean, you're not wrong, but I I gotta give this man his props. He's been balling since okay, he man. got drafted by the Dallas Chargers. And <laughs> I hate Dallas. But I got to give them their props, man, do. So if you don't say it's him, then you're not giving him his props? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm just asking the question. <laughs> get her, Ron. Get her, Ron. He ain't going to get me because, I mean, he, he ain't saying nothing. I'm just asking a question. Oh, oh I'm just saying. This man got 11 inceptions. If right, anybody yeah. overlooked that, then... They don't know football. So you're saying they're overlooking it if they don't have him as defensive player of the year. Ball of it, yeah. Really? As not, I, I say they're overlooking it if you're not a nominee. I do say if he's not a nominee. Oh, of course. Right, but no, but he's saying it as if it's him and no one else 
That's why he said what else Ryan, is there Ryan to said, be said. That's why he said that. Right. Wait a minute, Dennis. To my knowledge, that count for something. 11 interceptions. I didn't that see mean, it doesn't. I haven't said anything yet. I'm just trying to understand where you're coming from. Oh, How I do you know? So. I might I might agree with you. Okay. But I'm just asking you questions because right. I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. Why are you getting so defensive? I don't know. Just I'm answer not the question. I'm not right. Just it's answer the question. My Cowboys. Just all I did say, all I did say, Shannon, that count for something. That count for a lot. He helped win in the game. Okay, so let's talk about Trayvon Diggs then. So I have six players on my list. He's one of them, okay? And he, he does have 11 interceptions, which is a big deal. I'm not saying that it's not. It's awesome. The way he's doing it, and he's got a—he's got at one time he had like a twenty-three percent interception rate. That's—I mean—that's high. That's—I mean—that's awesome. Um, which was number one for for a part for a player that has fifty plus targets in a game, you know, in a game. I mean, that's incredible. But he struggles with other plays outside of the interception. <laughs> That's also a fact. Yeah. And I mean, I've yeah. seen video there's well, well, video footage, there's video footage out there of him yeah. missing missing plays and stuff and not yeah. being where he's he's supposed to be and all that yeah. stuff. And I look at that and I'm like, well, yeah, but dang, he's got all these interceptions. You can't just ignore that. Hey Sharon, can I say well, something real you, quick? No, I, I, I don't, don't agree finish. with that. Just I let me finish. Let me finish. All right. Well, I'm not asking if you agree. I'm just saying to you. Well, you can't. Every time I say not, something, you can't. I was actually going to back her up. You but. cannot just look at that those interceptions and say, okay, well, he's defensive player of the year and not look at any part of his defensive game. When you look at a player of the year in any sport, I'm, I thought you were supposed to be looking at the complete package. I didn't know it was defined to one stat. I didn't know that. In so football, they only play the case, one way. God damn it, will you let me finish? They only play one way in football. Oh my God. It's about defense. No, nah, that's not what she's Are saying. Are you going to let you, me you, finish you miss talking? It. You're missing it. God, dog, I can't even get a sentence out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I tell you what, since you want to talk so much, you talk. You give your way. When everybody finished, then I'll finish my list. How about that? Right, Who's ahead, next? It's you. Why don't you go? Since you got so much to say, go. No, like I said. Let me people, stop you people, every time people, you say something. When people Let me comment just interrupt on my stuff, you. When people comment on my stuff, I comment on theirs. If you want to kick the tap, I didn't comment on your stuff. Okay. I didn't say nothing about you. I know, I know you did. I'm giving I'm, my I'm a, damn list. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and then so we can get through the list. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with my man Ron Thomas. I got Diggs number two. I got um, uh, what's his name? The uh, uh, Mika Parsons number one, and really the Micah, the, the, um, the, right. Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons, whatever. Y'all know who the hell I'm talking about. Okay, put some respect on his name. And I guess what and guess who I don't have on there? Nobody for the Pittsburgh Steelers, goddammit. I don't and if care. Anybody, I put I put Donald's don't hurt number my three. Feelings. I put I put I put Donald's on there number three, and then that's the list. It's over. Next. Wait well, right. a minute. You gotta get yeah. Pittsburgh that pass was a hip hop. Dude, no, I, I no, no, you don't. No, you no, we don't, Ron. No, 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 we don't. No, no, we don't. Tell him, tell him, Ron. No, no, that's his list. Let that be his list. Wait, wait, hold on. That's his list, Ron. That's his list, Ron. You know what? I'm going to tell somebody else. That's his list, Ron. That's his list. I'm going to check you. Wait, 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 Ron. You got to get that man hip-hop. Wait, Dennis. 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 Let me, let me I'm come not back feeling that like you get by. Let me come back on screen. Uh -huh. Hey, Ron, you want to say Dennis. something? I just said uh, it. Ron, <laughs> Ron how are you gonna how are you gonna tell somebody that they gotta have somebody on their list when you only got one on yours? Exactly. I did. You ain't got TD White on your list. <laughs> how you know? You read in my paper. You said you said Trayvon this. You that's said it. one name. That's, that's it. it. 
This your show. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm saying you got another show you can listen to. I hate to say it. You imbecile. I'm not imbecile because if he would have said no. if y'all no. was arguing about Trayvon Diggs, then he would have been right. That's the only thing I'm saying. <laughs> he gonna go ass tonight, oh. though. He gonna. He gonna get Guru. Oh. He gonna catch Guru slipping for the night over. <laughs> Sorry, what you guys are? Number five. Let's get the show back on track. Number five, Aaron Donald. You know, don't really need to say much about him. One of the most consistent players on defense. Some say he's the best player on defense. You know, he might. He has been. He may have gotten past this year, but he is. You know, the best defensive tackle definitely in the game. Double and triple team. Exactly. Number four, I do have a stiller on there. I'm going to give it to TJ Watt. He's got a lot of sacks. He's missed some games. Team is kind of underperformed, but this is, a, I mean, it's an individual award. They, they look at some success more so for the MVP than a defensive player. So I do got Watt at four. Uh, I got uh, Miles Garrett at number three. Uh, I think he's probably going to win it. And we will get into this maybe, you know, when I'm done. Number two, I got Trayvon Diggs. And then number one, I got Micah Parsons. I think Micah Parsons is clearly the best defensive player this year. Easy, and easy. And defensive player of the year, but he's a rookie. So they're not going to give it to him. I'm going to let y'all know now he's not going to win defensive player of the year because only one person as a rookie has done that, and that was Lawrence Taylor with his nine and a half sacks, which the game was different. But who are they comparing him to, Big Zaw? I know. I hear you. But I'm just telling you, everyone's saying, oh, he's going to win defensive rookie of the year. They're not mentioning defensive player of the year. The man is the best defensive player in this year, in my opinion. But then they're saying, well, Trayvon's going to steal votes. You know, there's a lot of excuses. Put you some respect award. on Zaw's name. He came back. You know, I'm just saying. Go ahead, you Zaw. Award to the player that's the best game changer this year. Go ahead, Zaw. Took the 28th ranked defense. I don't know where we're ranked at right now. But, you know, the last, I mean, we, we man, I, it, I'm just going to leave it at that. that. That's my list, man. Get some respect okay. on the Zaw name. Right, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, you got your, uh, got Cowboy your list? Nation. Cowboy Nation uh, in the house. Number five, coming in strong at number five, Aaron Donald. All right. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's Aaron Donald every year. The best defensive player of football for this decade, in my opinion. Um, Number four, I'm going to go Miles Garrett at number four. Right? So, my top three, damn. Is it? Two of them is Cowboys. We know that. But um, I'm going to put Trayvon Diggs at three. I'm putting TJ Watt at two. And I'm putting Michael Parsons at one. I don't like it. <clears throat> Cowboys one and two. But go ahead. Nah, I'm a. The you saw you you the reason you're a cowgirl. Hold up. No, you I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I'm, listen, that you saw it. Hold up, hold no, up. No, I'm listen surprised now. at you. Now listen, now listen, now listen. See, the reason why I put Trayvon at three is because Trayvon happens to have one of the best pass rushes in the fucking game, man. So a lot of miscue passes, a lot of a lot of rush passes is going to happen, so a lot of turnovers are going to happen in the result of it. Sean, yeah, you know, let me ask you a question, Hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick. Sean, you know Demarcus Lawrence – just came back and Gregory missed a bunch of games, so he ain't always I, had absolutely. the best. But but, but, but Michael Parsons ain't going no damn person. Way. You understand what I'm saying? Michael One Parsons person. is a game changer. It is. Yeah, but you're saying the person. best pass rushing defense. That wasn't until about three weeks ago when but, we got everybody ask, back. Let me ask both you, Cowboy. Um, you know, enthusiasts, this question: Doesn't Trayvon usually go and track down his interceptions like wide receivers? Mm -hmm. But that also it's, it's like it's not. It'd be a wide receiver. Look, 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 look. At the end of the day, I play defense. I, I'm a man to man type of cornerback. And at the end of the day, when you take chances, the chances you take can potentially get your ass burnt, could potentially get your ass spanked. See, the thing about TJ Watt is the chances he takes are, are not as extreme as the chances Trayvon Dix takes. TJ Watt is more of an but effect. They play on two the different fucking positions. Position. Exactly. But we talk about defensive player of the year. T.J. Watt is more effective defensively than fucking Trayvon Diggs. It's just that simple. But what about the fact that he's missed three games? Even even in them three games he missed, the Steelers fucking lost all three? 
Well, they that's lost the last champion. You, they, it ain't, like, it ain't, it ain't like they're joking us. They barely got a 500 record. But they play better when he's on the field. But you, but you can't take away his, and they play better when he's on the field. That's true. Right? That's true. Right? I, I, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll we give had you that. Trayvon last year. We was 28. But Micah Parsons is there this year. But he That's didn't play. He didn't difference. play this good last year. Did he play this good last year? Uh, and Micah Parsons wasn't on the team either, though. That's what I'm saying. It's a completely different. a terrible defense. defensive coordinator, a terrible system. Didn't fit right. The, the system was the and system was totally like different. Rookie too. season, despite how terrible our defense was. He did have a he did have an okay season, but if you're talking about defensive player of the year, you're talking about players that make differences on their defense. Trayvon Diggs just causes a lot of turnovers, but he's not the only one. He's not the only one that gets these turnovers. Well, he, he okay, he, okay, he, okay. He, all right, ho, 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 fellas, we still got more shit to go on the show. Y'all going too long. We still got two more people to get their stuff. Oh, y'all talking yeah, too much. Hey, can, we, can, we, can, we get, right. can we get can we get talking about Dallas? Oh, I ain't oh, hate I mean, oh, y'all got it. Y'all, y'all got enough time oh, to Let me just say this oh, like this. No, 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 it ain't that. It ain't that. Let me just say it like this. Y'all got enough time to chunk and have an all dollar show. I, I'm definitely gonna tune in. But until it happens, uh, we gotta go on to the next one. Y'all Ethan, on our way of sweeping the division, Dennis. Okay. Ethan, you ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> All right. Number five is going to be uh, Aaron Donald. Um, number f- four. I'm trying to – no, I I know, but I'm going to pull a guru. I got to tie it four. Oh, no. You, you did it. Miles <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my, Garrett and – I gotta get. I gotta give some love to uh, Nick Bosa. He's got 15 sacks, having a great damn. year. He got that many. Yeah. Yep. God damn, that's a lot Sharon, of sacks. I know. I, know, I, I I'm guessing what? since Sharon has six, she probably has a has them on her list. He's but she on my she, list, she, she, she never, which is a great list. It, if anybody wanted to hear it, I, I, I wanted hear to hear it. I, I wanted to hear it. I'm just. But, all right, let me finish mine, and then we can get to Miss Chocolates. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, TJ Watt at three, Drayvon at two, and uh, Parsons oh. at one. I like your top three, baby. Yeah, me too. I love it. I'm cool. Both, well, of, both all of right. Six or seven. What the, what the can one? We, uh, excuse me, Guru. Can you let the chocolate talk, please, so we can get through tonight? Amen. Oh, oh, I thought man. you were gonna go, Dennis. You no, no, it's you. No, I said I was gonna go at the end. Got the guru quiet now. It's all you. I got him quiet for you. <clears throat> he can talk during my turn. He said when he be talking, when I, he tell me to shut up. I leave. <laughs> but when he leave, I'll be talking again. <laughs> all right. So I have um, six players on my list. Like I was saying before, I have um, def- I have Miles Garrett on there. I don't know if y'all know. He's actually playing the best season he's had in his career yep. this season. Even though the team is not playing as well, like I think Zara mentioned, this is an individual award. And he is a difference maker on that team. And it's really, it's really obvious with that. Um, he's number one in sack rates, number four in quarterback pressure, number five in quarterback pressure percentage, number two in sacks. Number six in uh, tackles for a loss. So I looked at the stats, but not just the stats when I rated these players. I also have Michael Park Parsons on the list. There is no uh, defensive player in the game with better lateral movement than Michael Parsons. And it was evidence and evident in his first game. It, it's just phenomenal. I mean, he's and this is his first year. He's a rookie, but he stepped into the into the uh, game like he's been here already, and nobody does that. Not as, especially as not as an outside linebacker. Um, linebacker. So he's he's um, where is he? Number eight in quarterback pressures. Number two in tackles for a loss. Uh, highest single season pressure rate since 2016 out of all defensive players. I mean, and this is as a rookie. So just wait and see what he does over the next five years. So 
he's on my list. TJ Watt is on my list. People, you know, discredit, discrediting him because he missed 10 quarters of football. But in those 10 quarters of football that he missed with, without those 10 quarters, he's still number one in sack rate, number one in the number of sacks, number eight in turnovers caused by pressures and number 10 in quarterback pressures. So it's not like he's he's got, I think he's 16 sacks right now. He It's not like him missing two and a half games has just put him so further behind and you can't really judge it. And what, what else you have to admit the Steelers have been really not playing well this year, and he has single-handedly helped them win games no fewer than four times. And, I mean, if you if you can't see that and you don't put him as top three for some other stupid personal reason because you don't like his contract or because you don't like what he said about somebody, that's on you. I'm looking at the facts of the player, and he should be in the running. I mean, he really should. And then you have Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is Aaron Donald, like somebody else said. Um, he's uh, His stats are really up there, but he's the only interior defender in the league that's ranked in the top 10 in sacks as an interior line. I mean, he's, a, I don't know. He's, he's just a beast. I've got Trey, I said Trayvon Diggs is on my list as well. So I guess he still leads the lead in uh, interceptions. There's another player out there that's only two behind him, the last I checked. And I'm not sure if he gained on him this weekend because I didn't watch any games really this weekend. So I don't know what, if his stats have improved. And then you have Nick, Boca, Nick Bosa. Did y'all know that he's number one in tackles for a loss? Did y'all know that? Did you know that he's also number three in quarterback sack rate and number five in quarterback pressures and number three in quarterback pressure rate? So Nick has quietly had a great statistical season, even on a team like the 49ers that's been up and down. And um, he's been a deciding factor. But nobody said anything about Matt Jadon at the Patriots. So I actually have seven players, not six. I miscounted. Judon? I knew I missed one. I, I who, you I missed got, one. who you got at one, Sharon? Judon? Yeah. He got Judon. COVID. Sharon, who you got at one, though? If I had to pick anybody now, since we're, we're going into week 17, I hate to say this, but I would pick, um, what's his name? Of the Cowboys. Um, Parsons. Name? Parsons. Parsons. Parsons, yeah. Even though I think it's a little unfair as a rookie to have him win both. Uh, Zara, you were saying nobody is saying that he could win He could win the defensive player of the year because he's a rookie. I actually saw something today that I read just before the show where he went on, this uh, analyst went on record, I think it was NBC Sports, to say he should win it. He should win it. And maybe he should win both. Yeah, because he's just that big a deal. So I know a couple of weeks ago I said no that I would give him rookie only, but TJ Watt was a defensive player of the year. Um, things have changed for my opinion, did change over the last two weeks. And so I do think Michael Parsons could possibly I mean if they're if they're willing to give it to a rookie, I believe he would deserve it. I wouldn't be mad at it. You know he didn't play football last year, right? I didn't hear you. You know, everybody knows that Michael Parsons didn't play football last he year. Opted so out for him to come to this level. Last year college for him to come to this level and play like that is unbelievable. Yeah, he he played two years. Yep, he didn't play this. I just want to know why you ain't say that during your turn. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. right. right. <laughs> I forgot, damn. Because I, 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 I was going to say it during my turn, but now you done took my speech. That's why I don't like being around you. That's why I don't like you on the show. <laughs> you go, go start your own show. Damn. Go just take my saying and say, go, go start your own show. Shit. Come on, my show. <laughs> take my shit. I ain't got nothing to say. All right? Let me just get my people. I'm just going to walk the fuck out of here. That's what I'm going to do. Get my people. I'm walking out. All right? Jen, you weren't the only one that had Matt Judon. I had him, too. Well, I figured you would because you were the first one that brought him to my attention about three or four weeks ago. Yeah, how Baltimore, how Baltimore let him walk. 
Well, Baltimore ain't got no money. They don't pay nobody. That's why they let Zadarius Smith walk. Well, that's crazy. That, that's, they traded, that's they traded their best lineman. If you right. if you can't they, sign uh, your, if you can't sign your best, they didn't players, trade their best lineman. You you I don't know what you smoking. Well, he's on. one of their best. No no he's not. City. He's not. Yeah, he he's was. not their best lineman. Yeah, you you can you can he say he's one of their best you know linemen. The guy they traded out a first round pick for. I'm not gonna say you right. He wanted the best lineman, but he's not the best lineman on the team. Well, you know what I mean. He was my fault. I'll take that back. I was wrong. I take it back. I said it on the show. A B, don't come for me in the comments. I said it on the show. All right, I was wrong. All right, I got Matt Judon. I got Miles Garrett. I got Darius Leonard. I got Nick Bosa. I got T.J. Watt, and I got Trayvon Diggs, and I got Michael Michael Parsons. So that's your order from oh, man, seven to one. He got like eight people. Well, well, that's so because I do my seven, that's because I do my homework. Like some other people, you know, they got to fish right. around for stuff because they ain't do their homework. I do my homework. When I come well, up with these lists, I, I right dig answer, deep. That don't matter. Other people I dig deep, you know, know what I mean? Don't get mad at me because I this is what I do. If you don't uh, like it, then do it better than I do it. But until you do it better than I do it, you, you did it wrong. Like you did the hard work assignment But worry about how I did it. If you was in college, well, that's something you, to say. Where your MVPs at? No, no. You got a shuffle for him? I know. Yeah. Get shuffle board out. Yeah. Shuffleboard? Did you say a shuffleboard? Yeah, get your shuffleboard out. He always got shuffleboard his list. <laughs> I will be like <laughs> find shuffleboard. Shuffle it. Show, right Show your no, face. They want to see your face, Guru. Show your face. No, they don't. <laughs> Ryan, I look better than you. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. I got hair. He looks look like, you. Look like you're about five, 50, 65. I'm 57. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, player. Mm. Come on, player. We have MVPs at Guru. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my turn, is it? Yes, it yeah, is your you're tall. How we got that before we all get old? Oh, I, I have, I have, let me just, I have it written down. Let me just get up. Um, I just know, I, I know. Right, get shuffle, boy. Go ahead, shuffling. Go ahead, shuffle, shuffle feet. Go ahead. Hold on, let me see. Who's a uh, the teams? Well, I know I had. Uh, no, let me just find it first. Oh, here it is. Okay, I've, okay. No, what, not, not in, well, no, I'm gonna give them who my number one MVP is. Um, well, but I, I only have I have Brady, he's in there, Rogers is in there, okay. And the last person I have who is number one in my book is Jonathan Taylor. So, wait a minute, you just got mad at me because I gave too many to five, but then you gave less than five, and you because I don't me. think anybody I did that. No, 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 see, else. see, you talk, see, you no, talk, no, no, but no, I did no. that purposely because you, I knew you had, you like, didn't have five. You had like a hundred, you don't do your homework there. exactly, you don't do your no. homework. I, That's exactly I what it is. Homework, but I don't. So what? What's your homework else, next time? That's I don't an incomplete. That's an incomplete in the, in the classroom. They not. They're not going to give it to a defensive player. So the bottom line is, those three are the only three I think that really deserve the award. I'm sorry. I'm not just going to put people on there because you want five damn people on your Skippy jumping off the peanut butter jar list. That's right. All right? Oh my God. It's called homework. Just because you no, don't it like ain't, it. It ain't homework. I, I watch homework. I watch more. I watch more games than you, Skippy. So don't, don't give watch, me that bullshit. You, you don't watch shit. Do your homework. Oh, yeah, Do your homework. Right. Yeah, well. Yeah, you Do know, your homework. Last time I checked, the only thing I do on on Sunday, other than watch football, is watch Power. And guess what? It didn't even come on last. Didn't even come no, on I was pissed, man. Man, Sunday night, I was there every Sunday night. Every Sunday night. Oh, get my Tyree food Brown, ready. Judge, I go to Amazon Prime and Stars. And that's just that episode me? five. I said, what the hell going on? No, no. Brian, 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 you just, for, just, for, just for the record, it's not the, coming on this week. Not gonna see I know, because it's New Year's. Brian, you ready? Yeah. I got Aaron Rodgers. I got Tom Brady. And I got Petra in my home. I like he don't belong on the list. See, I like that. Wait a minute. Who else? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait who else you got, Ron? We ain't worried about Google. Wait a minute. Who else you got? I got the runner back for the coach. That's John the Taylor. Yep. Let's say something now, Guru. You, you running your right? Hey, hey, Black hey can, Pro I, can I get mine real quick? Can I get mine real quick? Go ahead, player. Go ahead, Ron. Go ahead, Rashawn. All right. Um, at five. I got Tom Brady. Four. I got Aaron Rodgers. No, no, no. I don't got Aaron Rodgers. I still got Kyler Murray there. At three, oh, I have Aaron stop Rodgers. It, son. At, at two, I got Cooper Cup. And at one, I got Jonathan Taylor. I don't want the quarterback to win this award this year. 
Yeah, but how, wait, wait, so how you gonna put uh, uh what's the name um t- uh, uh Kyler there? Last couple of weeks he been he, he's been terrible. Then he was hurt for like three weeks, and they won two games out of the three. Then he, when he was hurt, but well, that's his list. Good Let's word. go, son. I'm just Good I'm word. just asking. It's my list. It's my list. Good but, but I'm surprised at you, Sean. That's all. It's your list. I'm not. I know. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk later. All but right. That's my list. Cause you pretty. You pretty astute. I I'm like. You know, Skippy and the rest of these guys, but uh... he's a line moving. All right. Oh, so, Look at Thomas, so, y'all. Say what's up to so, Thomas. Hey, Dennis, look at Thomas. Oh shit, Thomas is on TV, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? Thomas, man. Goddamn Thomas, man. Goddamn Thomas. All right. All right, let's move on. So, I mean, we like, I mean, y'all kind of hit on the nail. It, it probably isn't really five really strong candidates. And I know Guru said he don't belong on the list. But at number five, I do got Patrick Mahomes, what we say at number five, not three, not two. At number five, he they won seven in a row. He's the engine to that ship. He had a slow start turning the ball over like crazy. But when the games count and when it mattered, when they really had to win, he put that team on his back and he's, he's back being Superman, basically, who he is. So I do got him at number five. Number four, I'm going to give Dennis a little bit of respect on his name. They don't get his position, no love, but I do got Cooper Cup at number four. He is the best receiver this year. He's not the best wide receiver in the NFL skill-wise, but he is the best receiver this year. <coughs> now we get to the real candidates. Number three, <coughs> excuse me, choking on a Twizzler, uh, Tom Brady. I know eating a red vine. Tom Brady at number three. Shut up, Dennis. Not even say it. <laughs> number three, Tom Brady. Um, he was he was probably two or one, but he's kind of struggled a little bit the last couple weeks. Uh, number two, Aaron Rodgers, who probably will win this award because it is a quarterback award, and I wouldn't mind it because I'm the only one that like Aaron Rodgers and think that and you know they think he's really great. Well, some people give him credit, but they also discredit him. The dude, like like Stephen A., and I don't always agree with him, he's a bad man. Number two. Number one, Jonathan Taylor. I mean, guru, I mean, who else said it? He won't get it. Running backs don't get it. I think Adrian Peterson was the last one to get it. I don't know however long that was. Jonathan Taylor is MVP of the league this year. Should get the damn award. And that's my five. Okay. All right. Uh, Sharon, you ready? All right, so number five, I don't have Patrick Mahomes on my list at all. So number five, I have, uh, so number five, I actually have, I have Jonathan Taylor as number five. Sorry, y'all, but I do. And then I have Micah Parsons as number four, if you could give it to him. But I don't think we will, because he's a rookie, so he won't get it. Plus, he's a defensive player. I actually have Tom Brady at number three as well as R. But then I have I have Aaron Rodgers as two and Cooper Cup as one. Oh, Cup, That's there's no list. way he'll win it, but yeah. No, I'm just I'm not saying who I think will right, win. Right, 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 right. This is who I believe should have it. Yeah. And <clears throat> Cooper Cup should have it. I mean, he leads in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. It's just crazy. And then, I mean, he came out of nowhere. I didn't even know who he was. So. No, we knew who he was, but he did no, have I didn't a legendary know year. Oh, I knew he, I had him. In, you don't do don't fantasy, know. but. I don't do fantasy, so I didn't know Dennis who he know was. him well. <laughs> knew him since he was number 18. Uh, Ethan, you ready? How, let me ask you guys a question. We'll do uh, the fantasy. <laughs> how, much, how much do you think that uh, Cooper Cup is at? I've seen him play uh, not probably as much as um, some of you guys. Now, it seems like every time that, what's his name, Stafford, that's all he looks for. And that's going to be the, his Achilles heel in the playoffs. Well, well, Achilles heel. I mean, Achilles, 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 Achilles. Achilles. you can say that, but I'll let, you, no. I'll let everybody else go. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say the reason, the, the, the reason, no, I was going to say was the reason that, the reason he goes to him a lot is because he's covered by the slot corner. Right. Slot corner, he's always going to have the best matchup, as we talked about on the Buck Fair show last exactly. week. Exactly. Well, so he's, he's not so the best good. receiver. If he's, if he's so good, how come he doesn't get double teamed? Because they do got other weapons. They, they're, they're, they're loaded. Well, I know Rashawn Wood, Woods got hurt, but they brought in Odell's, replaced him. They also Odell, got Van Jefferson. Got Jefferson. And let's be and honest, Jefferson Odell's, was very underrated. Odell's played well, right? Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's, he's, play, he's playing no. pretty. He's playing. He's fitting in over there better than he has in Cleveland. That's for sure. And oh, then he, even the he tight, did, he did, even the in tight Cleveland. end, Higby is is you know you got to cover him too. He's a pretty good tight end. Oh. Thank you. They got plenty of weapons. All right. Anybody um, got them going to the Super Bowl? Hell no. But it's Hell like, no. I don't. I don't want to just give it. I don't just want to give it to the fact that he sees slot cornerbacks all the time because they still in the NFL. 35, yeah. They still, they still, they still got to play defense. You know what I'm and I've seen him line up on the outside and kill people off them sleeper touch for touchdowns, kill people off a dig. Like he, he's an excellent route runner. Cooper Cup is that work. You got to just get credit with credit too. That's how I feel. You got to. The best receiver right, in football no, right now. No Give it up. I have no issue with. I have no issue with him. He's a hell of a bat. He's a hell of a receiver. I'm gonna say receiver. this, Guru. Uh, because, you know, you've been a coach before, so I'm just going to ask you this. Now, as as you being a coach, if you see that this guy's leading the league in receptions and mm-hmm. catches, don't you go into this week and say, I'm not going to let this guy beat me. Like, <laughs> ain't that what you were saying? But like, that's what Bill like the rest Belichick of the team, does. the rest of the that's team what is going to beat me. Does for the most part, he takes your, your number one weapon away from you every every game. And right. and most good coaches, that you know, that's always been a philosophy. Don't let the best person beat you. Right, and for some reason, every week he shows up and beat him. Every week, and he's been playing like this since he's been in the league, but not to this extent. Not to this. No, he hasn't. He hasn't got this many targets. Usually, right. half of his targets will go to Woods. Because Jared, Jer- he wasn't. He wasn't screwing Jared Goff. What the, all right, next, 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 uh, who's next? Who's next? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Ethan. Go ahead. All right. Um, I don't care. Call me a homer if you want, but at least I don't have him more than number five. I got Josh Allen. Oh, um, Christ, Jesus Christ. Anyway, keep let oh, me keep going. Oh God. Number four. I got Cooper Cup. Who did you say was five? You know who he said was five. Who else would he say? My man is Josh Allen. Worse than Ryan, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. At least I didn't say he was one. Go ahead, Ethan. Yeah, thank Um, you. I'll tell you. That Crest guy should be five before that. But go ahead. Anyway, um, actually, my top four are the same as Zars, I got Cooper Cup, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Jonathan Taylor. All right, you made up for it. Okay, I'm not like your list. <laughs> All right, who's who's next? Give I up. Hate it. You. That was you. I think you did it. Oh, okay, Rashawn did go. That's right. Okay, this is me. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five, I actually got uh Patrick Mahomes. There you go. Um, number four, I actually got Aaron Rodgers. Number three, I got Micah Parsons. Number two, I got Cooper Cup. And number one, I got Jonathan Taylor. Oh, so I didn't put good. Parsons on my list. I mean, so you, you were sharing. I can I can see that. So but cool. even as bad as they don't give running backs and receivers love, they damn sure don't give defensive players love. So it's the only reason. Yeah, like but if you, if you watch, I'm just saying. Oh, no, I agree. I game, agree. From the way I'm watching the game, especially – you know how I talk shit about y'all, y'all, y'all know. I always say y'all wasn't shit in December. Mm-hmm. And it, there's been times where y'all had y'all like slump. Mm-hmm. And this motherfucker make a play and mm-hmm. the whole team will change their motherfucking yep. like demeanor. The whole the team, whole morale, everything the whole changes. morale changes. Oh, right? it's, it's just every morale. That's a Madden Joe morale. Yeah, the right. whole morale right. just changed. Right. right. That's that Ray Den- Lewis. Den- Dennis, Dennis, God, Dennis, Dennis, say your list one more time. Say your list one more time. Patrick Mahomes, A Rod. Um, Parsons, Cooper Cup, Jonathan Taylor. I'm surprised you didn't have Trayvon because you had him and all you year. Have, you don't have Brady on your list. That's I don't right. have Brady on my list. Mm-hmm. Is he six? No, I didn't write a six. I, I had this we, five. Would he be six? Would he be six? No, he wouldn't be six. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just asking. He wouldn't be six. I'm sorry. I, I just can't put, I can't put Patrick Mahomes on my top five list. I mean, they went from. I got Brady went, higher. They, I agree. They with went you. from on. To be five. They went from on Halloween. I know that. I know. Uh, oh, that's I know. what I got. Him. But what uh. I'm saying is the way he himself personally played too poorly in the first half of the season. I can't negate that, and I don't believe the back half negates that. 
Not in the MVP conversation. Okay. That's just me. I understand. Um, who else did uh what I would have had? I forgot. No, no, there was nobody else. There was nobody. Ron's questions, right? No, oh, yeah, Ron, let's get to your questions, Ron. Right? We're right on time, too. What backup quarterback should get to be a starter next year? <laughs> Cooper Rush. Little Huntley. <laughs> Huntley, yep. Cooper Rush, Huntley. Huntley deserves what you it. Say, Sharon? I said a little kill. Well, <laughs> how many times, how many times is he going to get a job, though, and then... I don't, boom, I don't know. Off. It's just amazing to me how he can... How he how well he wins off the bench like that is just amazing. It's once he gets but if, paid. But if he was paid. but if he was a starting quarterback, he would be halfway right. trash. And I don't understand it. It's is so I'm really joking. Really, I'm not it's really once saying, he gets paid though, okay. Sharon. Like when he left Philly, he was starting, but then he got that fat contract in Jacksonville, choked. Same thing, he did it again. He got paid again. Choke. It's like when he got the pressure and he's got the money to live up to, then he just buckles. But when he just comes off the bench, you know, no expectations. Player, no expectations. Like, I got to play for. I can, Nobody in the world looking at me. Right. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but it's just okay. wild to me. It's just Wait, wild. I like the backup quarterback for um, Baltimore. 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 We tell him, we said, huh? I knew you were going, Huntley. Mm -hmm. I like this dude. Yeah, he's Lamarish. I gotta give a, I want, I gotta give a I want, shout out I want to Piss, I want Pittsburgh to go snatch his butt. That's who I want. I gotta, Ooh, I gotta give a shout that. out to Buck Flair. Buck Flair hit me up and no, no, no. I gotta give a shout out to Buck Flair. I gotta give a shout out to BJ Samuels. They both hit me up earlier this week and said, Lil Kim playing this week. I said, Oh shit. I think I gotta change my pick to the Bears. Mm -hmm. And they was like, Are you serious? They playing in Seattle. Yeah, the Bears. It's the Bears. Like mm -hmm. it's definitely the Bears. I I the, bears. the Bears. And then for the first time ever, I seen the snow in Seattle. I knew it was something crazy. Right, dude, that was crazy. I'm still tripping. My, ne my next question. Okay. Do you think Tom Brady can still make wide receivers better? better? Uh, some yeah. of them. Some, yeah. Of them. Yeah, some of them. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. but some of them. That's what he's supposed to do, right? You yeah. get him any... I think I don't think it's him at this point. I think it's the fact that you're playing with him. You want to bring your agent. Oh, you know what I mean, man. Like you ever heard of? You know when it, you play based off your competition sometimes, or based right. off who you playing with. It's like he's one of them people. He's very competitive. He's a winner. He wants to win. So he's one of them people that's going like have you like oh I want to play like you know what I mean like I feel like he's one of he's he's a motivator. But, but, oh, I heard. Since Tom Brady been in the league, he made wide receivers best. Oh, absolutely. And a bunch of them left when teams thought that those wide receivers are good and got and should have got arrested for embezzlement. Uh, that's the whole Patriots situation. Not just players, coaches, yep. all of that. Everybody wanted to adapt the Patriot way, end up getting Patriot burnt. Right. And all, it, ain't but a, it ain't but a couple of them that have been successful. I mean, it's like it's like crapshoot, for real. Yes. Next question, Ryan. Name one NFL player that needs to get cut from your NFL team this offseason. I would say Anthony Brown, but he's played better since that terrible nationally televised Again, four pass Tampa interference Bay. game. Man, hey, Zarn, cut it the fuck out. Anthony Brown. <laughs> no, you can't. Hey, 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 we'll say, hold on, hold on, you're shy. Hey, 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 He's too big and slow. He won't be on our team next year. I'm you telling you that now. You got the Corona shot? I'm telling. No, I, I'm, I'm gonna get it probably. <laughs> though, but I ain't got it yet. But very, don't get that shit. You already talking, talking crazy. crazy. Yeah, I said it. Remember who said it? Wait, wait a minute, Sharon. Hell no. Watch. Who uh -huh. you think? Who you think need to get cut from Pittsburgh? 
Um, One Devin player. Bush. Devin Bush. John, John Collins said uh, Mason Rudolph. <laughs> so he does too, but I'm more disappointed in Devin. Mason is who we thought he was, and he should have been cut after last season. After his racist remark. So I mean, so I mean, if we if I can only pick one, yeah, it would be Mason Rudolph. Yeah, one. How about you, Dennis? Uh, JJ Ortega Whiteside. No, Jalen Rager. No, nah, no, nah, he he got some special teams effect. JJ. <laughs> Oh, well, first round it. pick that ain't good. Dude. That ain't good, but he got some special that special teams effect. <laughs> but JJ, I take a white side. Um, Bill Mafia. He left. Or... No, he left. He left. All uh, right. Josh Allen, the number five. He had to be a homer, man. Everybody else being a homer. But but that's... I, that was I don't know how to put Dak at five. But that, that's what he feels. He feels right. like he I didn't put Dak or Kyler in there. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, we're not biased. Feels, but but we're not all going to see the same way, I know, I'm just making a joke I mean, out of it, Sharon. It's just funny. I, I mean, just caught me off guard. I, should, I know I should have expected it. My next yeah. question. Who should be the next head coach for the Chicago Bears? That's a good one. I'll go Caldwell. Yeah, I'm with Jim. No, Caldwell. hey, you know Jacksonville add Kellen Moore to the list. Yeah, I seen that. Uh West Coast Cowboy. Shout out to West Coast Cowboy. He uh he told me. Yeah, I think, think Harry can pay him to stay. He always do that. Jim either Jim uh Caldwell or Breedwater, either one. Oh, I, don't want, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want Teddy to go to Jacksonville like everybody else does. I, I just don't oh, want man. him on that team. Dennis. Dennis. He's frozen. No, nah, he's just doing his best Paul segment. Mm. No, he, look, he's frozen. That's a frozen. <laughs> hey, right Maryland yeah. of the 220. Maryland up to 220 goes to Airwall. Really? Yeah. Who ain't answer? Guru? Guru. What was the question? I'm sorry. Who do you think should be the Bears head coach next year? I, I'll, I'll double down on Jim. Jim Caldwell. Okay. Would you say Rashad? But actually, actually you know what? I, I, I like Leftwich better over there. And I'm going to go Marvin Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. So you agree Go-go. with me then, Guru? We'll yeah, I like I like, left, I like leftwards because I think left he he's uh the quarterback's gonna need somebody who's kind of innovative. And Caldwell is is good, but I just think that the the you know he needs somebody even younger who might be able to relate to him a little bit. Not that Caldwell You think Leftwich would be good with a with a with a running quarterback versus a pocket passer like he was and like well, Tom Brady? Yeah, well I think I think the one thing I love about him is that he's he's a good either whatever kind of quarterback. Well he's no, a, he could throw a little bit, but you know I'm just saying no, he, he could he could throw more than a little bit. I even even the game this year when they lost on on Nassau on I think it was on Monday night, he was he was torching um I think yeah against the Steelers. Pittsburgh, he was yeah. Torching, yeah, he was torching them man. He had a great game. It's it's naggy who's been the, you know, yeah. the guy that's really yeah. hurt him. You know, Maggie. You don't think, you don't think it's the Ohio State mystique because they never had a good quarterback? No, nah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy in that because if you, look at, if you look at most of the Ohio State quarterbacks, most of them have been running quarterbacks. It's, it's, right. That's not that's not what typically, um, you know, we're talking about in the NFL mode. A lot of the guys that didn't make it in Ohio State were the, the dual threat, uh, you know, or even the Troy uh, Smith type Troy quarterbacks. Smith, yeah. You know, um, but as far as just regular quarterbacks, nah, I, I think the ones, you know, that 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 have the capability to, you know, it just have to be put in the right situation. We can look at a lot. I mean, uh, is, Baker, is, is Baker Mayfield any damn good? Nah, he's no. Got, got, I think, I think Leftwich, I think Sunshine, Leftwich or Sunshine, I think that's a perfect fit because that's the perfect type of quarterback. He's similar uh, to what Byron did. I just mean, I just think, I think that's what he needs. My next question. I just don't want him on Jacksonville, period. No, I mean, that's yeah. fine, but I'm saying, but okay, right, you don't want him there, but do you think it would be a good fit despite not wanting him there with if Sunshine? They were on, if they were in somebody else's organization, yeah. 
But I don't want him anywhere near Jacksonville, period. That's what I'm saying. My next, here, Ron, I'm sorry. Do you think the NBA need to add more NBA teams next year? And what city they need to get them? They don't need to I, add any. I thought, need we, to... I thought we answered that. And I said Seattle. That's what I said. Seattle. Yeah. They need they need to they need to take a team who ain't really generating the fans or money, you know, the little, you know, so no, don't, don't bring a new team in. Someone no, needs to move. Like no, Oklahoma no. needed to get out of there. I know they ain't been no. there long, but they need I'm Seattle the one that's saying they need right. they need to move uh uh Sacramento to right. Seattle. To Seattle. You, Every time you I say that, Dennis has a hissy fit, but it's true. Yeah. What do you think, Guru? I think Seattle deserves a franchise. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not so Sacramento. I miss the Sonics, man. Actually. Sacramento used to sell out every night. I don't know what their attendance is right now. I, I know that they've been pathetic because they had Lou, Lou Walton as the oh, coach. Really? I think, I think um, OKC I, need to go back to Seattle. Wait a minute. I think Seattle needs a team. Need a franchise. Seattle was a part of New York. The way they had Dennis Mewshine, thank you. I think Seattle need a franchise team. The Hawks yeah. should move to Seattle. No. <laughs> hey, no. I'm gonna tell you, man. That was a while in the 80s, 90s until they started yeah. winning. People, they right. were people were not going to those games. Right. No, they weren't. What do you think, Dennis? I'm gonna leave it alone. Just gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with it. You don't want to talk basketball right now. You're not in a good state. No, no, I, I can talk basketball. I just, I just, uh, I, I, something in me just says that Seattle, if they get two more teams, Seattle won't be one of them. See, I don't want to throw no hate on Seattle, but it's just something in me saying Seattle won't be one of the next two. Wow. But, uh, well, you're right. They may not be, but I think he was asking what. Cities, do you think they should be in? Well, oh, Las, Las you... Vegas is definitely getting one. So you mm -hmm. said Las Vegas and who else? Yeah, Las Vegas is definitely getting one. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I know Las Vegas for sure is gonna get one for sure. For sure, let's see. My next question Ron, his answer is Las Vegas and yeah. in Seattle. He yeah. ain't trying to say it, but it is. Seattle. Um, <laughs> That's gonna be two teams he, in the West Coast. I don't think that's gonna happen. He don't. He he don't think they're gonna put them there. Right. But he would like to see one in Seattle. But if you look at it, in Las Vegas, that's where the that's money is. Question. That's where the money is. So I don't understand they gonna, Las Vegas. They gonna try to make Las Vegas a four for four. Right. So they already got a football team down. down and they got there. a hockey team. A hockey team. They got what? The th no. Um, I hockey forgot the name team. of the hockey team. The but they, Los they, uh, Gamblers. They'll, they'll, they'll probably get a baseball team. In Vegas. So, they're wow. the, um, um, gosh. Scarlet Knights. What are they, what are they called? The Los uh, Angeles Casinos? No. No. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Strips. Las Angeles. Las Vegas Strips. Oh, no. the, uh, shit. The, golden, the Golden Knights. I knew it was Knights, okay. but I couldn't remember what color so, it was. They got a um, football team already down there. Already. The, Los, Angel the Las Vegas Haters. I guess they, you they, 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 they have you a, want they have a, Don't they have a... Isn't a WNBA there already? Not yep. no NBA. They, got, yep. uh, they got my girl there. Uh, she like the Las she Vegas right. Machines. What is her That's name? Right. God damn. I'm gonna get killed for not knowing her name, but she is uh beautiful. <laughs> she yeah, come with a new NBA team, Las Vegas slot machines. She is B E A beautiful. What's the Hey Dennis, hey Dennis. Nah, them comments is too many. Too Dennis. many. I'm listening. I'm waiting for you to say you know, something. You know, Alvin Kamara is he Cooper the government? Damn. No, I ain't. I'm not mad at that. I that's am. Better, that's better than Dwight Howard. It is way better than Dwight Howard. Way better than Dwight Howard. My, my next. Move, having, can't shoot free throws. All right, all right, all right. You, you, goddamn it. Nobody want to hear all that. You use Dwight Howard hate. Go my ahead. next question. Do the NFL need to play in a bubble in the playoffs because of the COVID? Because COVID going so wild? Yeah. They should. 
They should have that bubble in St. Louis. Because St. Louis, don't, there's no team in St. Louis, so if they're gonna play I can't a playoff, stand just, the bubble. So hell it's no. just a uh, it's just a straight away game for everybody. Okay. Well, wait a minute. They have it in not, Dallas. Not That's Kansas the best City, stadium. though. Wait a minute. Not Kansas City. God damn. In Dallas, it's the best stadium. I didn't think about Kansas City. God damn it. What do you think, Sam? I didn't really hear the question. What was the question again? Do the NFL need to play in a bubble in the playoffs because of the COVID? Um, I think logistically it would be almost impossible for them to do because they have so many people, so many players. The rosters are huge. I just don't see them being able to do that. Um, but you know, maybe if somebody can figure it out, then sure, if it's a safer way. But it's too much for me to figure out. I couldn't figure it out because I, I just don't see how they can do it with that many people. That's why ba basketball was able to do it, but they're you they're unique in their makeup and they were able right. to make it work. But I don't I'm just not so sure that football could do it. Okay. What do you think, Zo? Hell no, I hate the bubble. I don't want another asterisk championship. You ain't what get you the first think? one. What do you think, AKA alone win it? Um, I think that if you can't even go to the grocery store without catching COVID, which is almost the case now, um, I, I think it, you, you really have to start considering and it. it. It's not that you can't do it, the amount of teams and all of the size. That has nothing to do with it. They can definitely do it and they should do it if 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 they can't if if you can't, okay, let's let's give a perfect example. If we get to the Super Bowl or the, the NFC Championship and Dak can't play and Aaron Rodgers can't play, people are going to go, they're just going to go nuts. And it's going to really just make the whole thing look like it's worthless. So the bottom line is, depends on the numbers. If we can, if these guys are getting, now, I don't know how they're getting COVID. Um, there's people who are getting COVID innocently. They go to a school, the kids have it. And they 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 interact with the children and they catch it. They their parents um you know go home and then their kids bring it home to them. That's innocently. You can't, most parents are not gonna stop loving their kids. Most parents are not gonna stop holding their kids, no matter what age they are. That's just love. Okay, especially mothers. So, but the bottom line is if if people are just getting COVID um the way that these these players seem to be getting it by wearing their mask, doing the right thing, and they still getting COVID, they're going to have no other choice but to do that. They're going to have no other choice. Uh, so so bottom line is whether, you know, you want to be, you know, all oh, because certain teams you don't like won a championship. Hey, man, that's beyond that, man. This is an epidemic we're in right now. We're, we're in an epidemic, and this is serious business. Um, uh -huh. I, I'm so afraid to to leave my house at times. It's, it's really sad. It's really, And I'm retired. I could, I could do so many different things, but I can't. I can't. It's sad. Uh, I, I do believe that uh, it can get done. Maybe maybe it's going to be in North Dakota. Maybe in North Dakota, South Dakota. I mean, Dakota. I, I just think it needs to be somewhere that warm. Man. No, it's going to need to be in the dome. It got to be in the dome. Uh, the te Texas. No, no, no. Ain't nobody going dome. there. Why does it have to be in a dome? California. I think it has to be in the dome. Um, Why? I could, I could be wrong, but I feel as though it has to be in the dome. I don't think they should go to no team, right. nowhere that no teams are have a that are in the playoff hunt. So if they go anywhere, it got to be, you it know, can't be California. Man. Can't be California now. But even though that's where the Super Bowl gonna be at, but can't be California. And it, and it uh, that's why I said North Dakota, South Dakota. No home, no home loving there. <clears throat> Why a dome? I'm still asking you. you have uh, I don't think it should be. I don't think it could be outside because then people are gonna catch the common cold. And the way I was told, they can't tell the difference from the common cold and COVID. That's the way I was told. Now I could be wrong. You're right. You're saying you're right because they're saying now that people who have a common cold test positive for having COVID. So so I mean, like that's crazy. Yeah. So you can't even you can't even detect. Who has it? And who doesn't have it? That's how wild this thing is. 
You're hundred percent. You know, Skippy, you hit the nail for a change. Jesus. Uh, hey, yo, hold up. I, I know, what you know what? No. You know what? what? I'll see you after the show. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's, you thought you got one more round? We got like five minutes left. Yeah. What GM need to get the boot in the NFL? Uh, I heard Dave Gettleman. <laughs> Is Matt Nagy the GM there? No. Uh, yeah, they said Bears. Chicago Bears GM. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles GM. Oh, why? He did, a, he, he did all right. He's a horrible drafter, though. Mm-hmm. Like, horrible. He's horrible. He's horrible. Don't say nah. He's horrible. They He's should have way better I, players. I disagree. Well, you think how? You, how? Oh, I don't think he's horrible. Said, I just think that he's, he made some bad decisions. Jalen Rieger, Justin Jefferson. Okay, that's one pick. That's one pick. Patrick, Patrick Quinn. Patrick Quinn. How, how many other organizations make bad picks every year? Steelers GM, Ron. The, the Steelers GM. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to get rid of Jacksonville's GM. No, nah, he's staying. No, nah, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going yeah. nowhere? No, they are very I know they better not fire Mike Dayock. I know that. No, nah, he ain't going right. he, I, tell you, he I like I hated Gruden. Mayock ain't going nowhere. No, that's what I see. They already and, and, came and the, out. And the, Raiders, and the Raiders better be smart and go get Dougie P. Dougie no. P fixed that team in a minute. You know what? He the one that go to Jacksonville. No, 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 no. Byron no, Leftwich. Byron Leftwich has Byron to go to Jacksonville. Yeah. There is no Juke is here. Juke, I'm here to tell you, Juke. Byron Leftwich has to go to Jacksonville. He has to because he knows Again? he's been a starting quarterback in Jacksonville. He knows everything that's going on in Jacksonville. Yep. Ain't nothing in Jacksonville going to be, I mean, I ain't see that coming. Why don't you do that to me? No, he knows all that shit. But do you think there's going to be too much pressure? Do you think there's going to be too much pressure on him? Huh? Do you think there's going to be too much too much pressure on him in Jacksonville? Like no, the expectation no. and as a matter of fact, and I'm going to keep it with you. I'm going to keep it even better with y'all. You got Byron Leftwich uh, as the head coach. And I think as the uh, um, as the offensive coordinator, to me, you got to go get Mark Brunel. You go get both of those guys who has played in Jacksonville and know yeah. what it takes to win. Both of them. In Jacksonville. Wait a minute. Well, okay, what well, about the dude did not get a job last year? Every be enemy. He, he probably won't go for no jobs this year. Uh, I mean, he need to. I ain't never say he didn't, but he probably like, you're like, like they was talking shit about him. He had ten interviews, ain't passed none of them. Uh, okay, no, know, I ain't never that. say that they write about it. All I'm saying is, right. I know the way he feel right now is, listen, either you gonna give me the job or you ain't. I'm right. not about to just keep coming out here and going to these interviews. Right. You know I'll my word. You on that. Everybody, everybody that's been in my position with Andy Reid has been hired as a head coach. Right. I'm the only one that won a Super Bowl with him. So, I think... And it still ain't he, nobody hired him in two years, right? I'm just trying to tell you. This is what I, it is. I know, but I think he should be on that list, too. Let me be honest. Yes or no? I yeah. I mean... But I think, Byron, I think Byron left with the Jacksonville is the perfect move. Okay, we're gonna see the offseason. We're, we're gonna definitely see. gonna see. Uh again, thank y'all for coming out tonight. <coughs> uh, we had a great show. Uh to everybody that came out from uh Ethan, the Tom Bashan, Czar, Sharon, Sports Guru, Brian Thomas, and everybody that's been in the comments. Thank y'all very much. God bless. Good night.